Hey Internet, it's your old friend Dominic here with the All American Casino Guide. Tonight we're going to be continuing on our Late Night Poker series. If you're unfamiliar with this series, essentially it is myself giving feedback to an actual live game that was played between a number of members of staff for the All American Casino Guide crew. And essentially I'm looking out for smart plays, silly plays, things that didn't make a lot of sense to me. And so hopefully my advice uh, will make these particular players better, but vicariously by watching, maybe you'll learn a thing or two and you'll improve your quality of game in the long run. So without further ado, let's take a look at the game. All right, so let's take a look at this first hand. Uh, we'll start from the top here. We have Cowpoke Kyle with 4-2 off suit. Uh, Kirk Hassan's got a big hand with uh, Ace-10. PM Star, King Jack off suit. Uh, Robo Clubs, 10 and 5 off suit. Uh, Nat uh, Natty, Nat <laughs> uh, 9 Ace. And uh, the only player on suit is Cinderella with King 8. So first option goes to Robo Clubs, who's going to go in for the 100, as you'd expect, because your hand is never a hand until you at least see a flop. If you can get in a hand, I say this all the time, but I'll say it again. If you can get into a hand before the flop for a reasonable amount of money, get in there because that's what you, that's, you're not even going to have a hand from your two hole cards. So Natty folds, not a big surprise there. Uh, Kalpo Kyle folds again, not a big uh, surprise there. Um, Kirk Hassan had the last option. He decides to double the, the blind to 200. Robo clubs is okay with that. Cinderella is okay with that. So we're four-handed. Okay. All right. So here is the flop. It's six queen jack. So that's going to be uh, some help for certainly um, PM star pairing up her jack. Um, no real help anywhere else for anybody else. Uh, yeah. It looks like Kirk Hassan's well on his way to a high straight if he can just find that king. All right, so PM Star has the first option. She's probably going to check. No, she puts in 300. I mean, she has a pair of jacks. That's a strong statement. Club uh, Robo Clubs folds. Cinderella, what are you going to do? She's got 300. Okay, okay. The turn card comes. It's a two of cl it's a two of spades. No real help there. PM Star checks. Kirk Hassan checks as well. Looks like checks all around. All right, qu a queen of hearts. So that's two pairs for PM Star. Uh, they're gonna. She's gonna throw in a hundred bucks. Kirk Hassan throws in five hundred, raises to five hundred. Um, okay, and the showdown goes, and of course, PM Star wins. All right, so let's take a look at the next hand here now. Uh, start with PM Star, the big winner from last hand. She's got five four off suit, eight seven from Kirk Hassan. Big pair of fives for Robo Clubs. Uh, pretty much everyone else has pretty bad hands, so. Let's go ahead and see how this plays out. The first uh, action goes on PM Star. She's right off the uh, the small the, the big blind. Goes and throws a hundred. Looks like everyone's happy with a hundred. Robo Clubs, you okay with with a hundred? Yep. Okay. Natty folds. Okay, she's playing a little bit more conservatively. That's it's perfectly all right. You know, waiting for the right hand. Small blind option for Cinderella to get out of the hand. I mean, she's already in for fifty bucks and she's got a jack. Um, I don't see any reason not to play the hand. Okay. All right. So here comes the flop. The flop was seven, ace, ten. Uh, only. Okay. So that's a that pairs up the tens for Cowpoke Kyle. Um, pairs up uh, the sevens for Kirk Hassan. So right right now, I mean, Robo Club's pair of fives is not looking too sharp. But that can all change. I mean, it's just the flop. There's two more cards to come. Uh, let's see. Uh, Natty was on the button, so Cinderella's going to get the first option. All right, so Cinderella, what are you going to do? Checks to Cowpoke Kyle. Cowpoke Kyle, what are you going to do? I taught him, don't give people free cards, and he took my advice very seriously. $500 bet with a pair of 10s. I mean, there is an ace on the board. I don't know if I would be that cocky. Okay, uh, here comes the turn. Uh, ace of clubs. Uh, looks like two pairs, aces and 10s for Cowpoke Kyle. That would concern me that somebody's got... Three of a kind right now. So he throws out 300. Kirk is on, raises to, to six. Kalpo Kyle calls. The, the uh, river cards and king of uh, king of diamonds. All right. So it's, wow. 
interesting. He just completely bluffed him out of the hand. That was rather interesting. Okay. All right. So let's look at the hands now uh, before the before the uh, flop. Pre-flop, it looks like Cowpoke Kyle's on suit with spades, uh, three and ten. Um, speaking of on suit, we got two queen for PM star. Uh, everyone else is off suit. We got AC Ducey over in Cinderella's hand. That's a hand that I never get too excited about. AC Ducey. Uh, some people swear by it. I don't know. Um, not not a hand I've had a, had a lot of luck with over the years. Every player in my experience has that superstitious hand that they play. Me, I've documented this many a times on this channel. I love King Five. Um, I'll pretty much play with any combination of King Five, uh, but my favorite stupidly enough is uh king of hearts uh five of spades um don't ask me why i don't know couldn't could not tell you to save my life all right so it looks like natalie is uh right off the big blind so she'll have the first option all right so what does natty do what is natty gonna do she folds i mean she's very conservative um i don't know if she's waiting for pocket pairs i don't know what she's waiting for but Hasn't really played a hand yet. Okay, so the flop comes ace two queen. Wow, that's a great hand for Cinderella. Okay, so Korakasan, it's got a pair of queens. Uh, Cinderella has the first option, bets 472, gets uh, a couple of calls. All right, so seven of diamonds comes out. Uh, Cinderella, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? You got ace, you got two pair, aces and deuces, throws 1800 in the pile. All right, and the la and the the river cards the six of diamonds. No help there for anybody. Uh, and PM Star's got two pair of queens and twos, but aces and twos beats queens and twos. Uh, wow, this is this is getting real interesting. People throwing a lot of money out there. All right, and good job Cinderella playing that AC Ducey. All right, so next hand here, we have Cowpoke Kyle with the big hand, in my opinion. Uh, King, queen, even though it's off suit. Uh, slightly not as good, but still a good hand nonetheless. PM star, king, jack. Uh, ace, queen for Kura Kassan. I guess I could probably say that's the best hand, but I don't know. Uh, they're not connected. That's the problem, you know. Um, seven, king, off suit for Robo Clubs. 3-5 uh, for Natalie. I f she's on suit, so I don't know if she's going to fold this hand. It's She's really, really conservative. Um, it's going to be interesting. She's already in for the big blind, so I guess she really doesn't have any, any option unless somebody raises the big blind. Knowing how conservative of a player she is, I might have just decided to raise the big blind just to get her out. Uh, I, I, I'm a firm believer that it's best to get players out of the hand pre-flop if you're going to get them out before they actually have a hand when it's actual gambling. So Cinderella has the first option. 10-3 off suit. Not a great hand. It's worth 100 bucks though, especially after that, that big win in the last hand. Okay, call from Cowpoke Kyle. Call from PM Star. Raise from Kura Kassan. Rubiclaus calls the raise. Natty, what are you going to do, Natty? Is she going to call... She's already in for 100. It got raised to 200. This is the exact situation I was talking about. You know, if you want to get... Oh, she she decides this is the hand she wants to play. Cinderella's in for 200. Cowpoke Kyle, he's in for 200. PM Star, they're all in for 200. Okay, so the flop comes out 5, 10, 4. So 5, 10, 4, it looks like uh, a little bit of help for Natty, who paired up her 5. She's also got that... Uh, Open-ended straight draw now with uh, three, four, five. I mean, two, six really puts her in good territory. Um, I guess as far as straights go, Cinderella's also got three, four, five right now. Um, those, you know, Calpo, Kyle, PM Star, and um, Korkasan, they they certainly have a, a nice straight draw going. Nothing else really going on here. Okay, so who's on the button? Korkasan's on the button. So the first to act is going to be Robo Clubs. Robo Clubs checks. Natty. 567. Okay. She's also got three uh, club, three spades. I should have mentioned that as well. Um, so she's, she's three cards to a straight, three cards to a flush. Throws a pretty big bet for her out there. Uh, fold from Cowpoke Kyle. 
call from PM Star. Kirk Hassan is going to call. What a weird number, 567. Anyway, uh, Robocl Roboclubs folds. Uh, we have eight of spades um, on the turn. Of course, that's four now. It's four spades for Natty. She's in for 1,600. Uh, kind of kind of bluffing at this point. Uh, Kirk Hassan goes all in. Natty needs to go throw in another about, looks like another about 1,100 to, to call. I'm sure she's going to. I mean, but she's making that gut shot draw for a flush at this point. It's the only thing that's going to possibly save her. Oh, she folded. All right, so she decided it wasn't worth it. All right, so guys, this is a great opportunity to learn, all right? Every single opportunity is a learning opportunity. Um, you can get people out of a hand by just making aggressive actions. Um, ultimately, I, I don't agree with her with her decision to fold that. She was already pretty pot invested at that point. She threw 1600 in and then she got raised an extra 1100 and she decided, nah, I'm good now. Uh, it was a very odd, very odd decision overall. You know, this, these kinds of things happen though. So you really have to wonder about it. You know, hindsight is 2020. Um, and you know, it's easy for me to look at these hands now with the ability to see everyone's hands and kind of deduce what they should have done. It's a little harder when you don't know what the other players have and you're in the moment and you only have a limited window of time to come up with your action. So I fully understand while, why she made the decision she made. She, at the time, felt it was the right one to make, and I don't blame her. So guys, that's it for this particular group of hands. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please leave them as a comment down below. And guys, while you're at it, make sure to clickety-clack that like button and pound that big red subscribe button if you haven't already. Join the All-America Casino Guide crew. We need more loyal fans like yourselves. And guys, if you don't want to miss any more of our late night poker series or any of the tutorials or trick videos that we upload with quite a bit of regularity, you're definitely going to want to ring a ding ding that notification bell because it'll inform you every single time we upload a video to the channel. My name's Dominic. This has been the All American Casino Guide. Wishing you luck and reminding you as always, play responsibly.